I'm Max Nappy, and this is the Solvers Channel for Hitachi Cooling and Heating Professionals. Welcome. We're getting a lot of questions from you, but don't worry, we're here to help. But first, let me remind you of the zero harm policy we all follow here at Johnson Controls Hitachi, so we can go home safe after each working day. Please don't hesitate to contact Hitachi for more information. In today's video, we will see how to identify communication problems between the outdoor and the indoor unit. I will advise you to watch this video after any other tutorials on this channel on how to install a residential unit, because any adjustments we may do in this video may arise after the installation. Before we start, let's see the tools we may need. Screwdriver, a polymeter, goggles, and gloves. Now that we have everything, let's get to work. Imagine that we just completed the installation. We have powered up the unit, an alarm code appears, and the system doesn't work. To identify the error, the unit can notify us of four possible ways. The indoor unit, the wall mounted remote control, the wireless remote control, and the outdoor unit. It's best to use an example. As you can see, the display blinks three times, and then the error code 03 appears on the wall mounted remote control and also on the wireless remote control. And finally, we can see the warning on the PCB of the outdoor unit. Now that we have checked the error warning, how do we know if the communication problem is in the indoor unit or in the outdoor unit? Take note of the following tip. The indoor unit displays code 00003. The second zero indicates that the error comes from the indoor unit. If it were a problem with the outdoor unit, we would see 01003. The number one indicates that the problem is in the outdoor unit. In this case, we're going to check that the communication wiring is correct and there is no problem. To do this, we're going to check the connections of the indoor unit. As you can see, they're all fine. And now, we're going to check the outdoor unit. As you can see, a cable came loose, and that's why the outdoor unit cannot communicate with the indoor unit. We're going to fix the problem. Reset the alarm code and check again that the unit is working correctly. This was an example of how to identify problems through the different components of the unit. But the path to identifying problems can be extrapolated to other possible errors. Remember to always check the technical data of your Hitachi unit. There, you will always find exact information to answer any questions you may have. We hope this video was useful, and we're always happy to help. You can visit our YouTube channel for any other incidents, and remember that our call center is always available for any questions you may have. Greetings, fellow installers, and remember, be professional and enjoy your work.